In today's lesson, we'll be learning about SOHCAHTOA, also known as the primary trigonometric ratios. In a previous lesson, we learned that SOHCAHTOA is just a mnemonic to help us remember the primary trigonometric ratios. The SOH in SO helps us remember this ratio. The CAH in CA helps us remember this ratio. And the TOA in TOA helps us remember this ratio. In our first example, we have a right triangle. We are trying to find y. In other words, we want to find the length of this side. Before doing any calculations, let's make an estimate. Well, if this side is the hypotenuse and it's 28 meters, that means this side must be less than 28 meters since the hypotenuse is always the longest side. It doesn't look that much shorter than the hypotenuse, so I'm going to say it looks approximately 25 meters. This is just an estimate. We are going to position ourselves over here at the 54 degree angle. You can think of this as theta. If we're positioned over here, that means this side is the hypotenuse since it is the longest side. This side would have to be the opposite side since it is located across from us. And this side would be the adjacent side since it is located beside us. Remember, we are trying to look for y. That means I should circle the opposite side since that is what I'm looking for. To find an unknown, you'll need the help of other numbers. We know that the hypotenuse is 28 meters. That's going to be helpful, so let's circle the hypotenuse side. At this point, look at the three trigonometric ratios carefully. Which one contains both hypotenuse and opposite? You'll notice that this ratio, the sine ratio, contains both opposite and hypotenuse, and that is the ratio that we'll be using. I want you to look at this ratio. We're going to replace theta with 54 degrees. Then we're going to replace opposite with the letter y. And last, we're going to replace hypotenuse with the number 28. On your calculator, I want you to find the sign button. If you're using a phone, you may have to turn your phone sideways. I want you to punch in sign 54, or you may have to put 54 first then press the sign button afterwards. You should get a very long decimal. I'm going to round this to 0 0.809. Everything else is going to stay the same since we haven't touched it yet. But how do we find y? How do we find the length of this side? Well, I'm going to show you a little cheat. You're going to draw a line under 0 0.809. Then you're going to draw a 1. Now, why am I allowed to do this? This is because this line and 1 means the same thing as divide by 1, and anything divided by 1 stays the same. At this point, we can solve this ratio using cross multiplication, which means we're going to multiply the numbers that are connected by this cross, and then we are going to divide by the leftover number. Using your calculator, put in 0 0.809, multiplied by 28, and then divided by 1. You should get something close to approximately 22.7. If you remember, we estimated y to be approximately 25 meters. And you can see that our calculations were pretty close. y is actually 22.7 meters. 